part two of baking, lighting with Mental Ray and Maya for your Unity environments. Now we've already built the, uh, the interior here in part one, and we baked it down into one mesh, uh, the entire environment here, and that is a mesh with 25 materials on it now. So we have the uh, environment set up and baked down to one mesh. That's good for baking your lighting in Maya. And now we have four point lights. And uh, we're gonna export all of this to Maya. To do that, we're gonna use export to Maya from the asset store. And uh, this is a really good tool for exporting your um, Unity scene over to Maya for light map work or for uh, more 3D modeling. So that's what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna go to uh, Window, Export to Maya. And then we need to select the Maya version. It's 2015 and I highly advise, if you're following this tutorial, to use Maya 2015. You'll notice I have Maya 2015 and Maya 2017. And what happened was in 2016, they switched over to the Arnold renderer and a new rendering system and when we're rendering with middle ray we want to use middle ray renderer and the legacy uh, render layers so the arnold render changed to a new rendering system and you could still change it to the old style by going to preferences i'm on maya 2017 and i go to preferences and i could go to rendering and it says preferred render setup system. By default, it's set to render setup, and that's the new render setup. We want to render with legacy render layers and the mental ray renderer. Now, mental ray isn't in the list. Um, I have I could go get the plugin for Maya 2016 or 2017, but mental ray comes with Maya 2015 because in Maya 2015, mental uh, the Arnold renderer wasn't out yet. So select Maya 2015. You're going to get the mental ray renderer with Maya and it's going to be using the legacy render layer setup. Now I tried to revert 2017 to legacy render layers and use the mental ray plugin and I still had issues and that's why I advise to not use 2016 or 2017 but 2015 uh, because we know that the workflow works and you're not going to run into problems. So now that I have Maya 2015 here. I'm going to export my Unity scene to 2015. Centimeter is fine. And it says export selection. So I want to select my geometry and all of my lights. And I'm going to say export selection. And we'll just call this one tutorial room. And export to Maya is going to take a second to go export this to a nice Maya um, file. So in Maya, I'm going to say open scene and point it to that location. And there's the tutorial room. Now when we import it, I can see the four lights, but everything is all white. And uh, there's a couple things we want to we want to do here is for, for one, we want to turn on back face cooling. Um, that's the way Unity set up and that lets us see through the back face Otherwise, we can't see through the walls. So now that I can see through the walls, I can see everything is, is white. And I'm not sure why, but if we switch this over to legacy default viewport, and we're going to want to switch it over to textured. And now we, now we can see our scene. Now maybe, I don't know why it does this. If you know, please comment. Uh, maybe it's just my video card. But in Viewport 2.0, it just is all white. So I'm switching over to the legacy default viewport. And I've also turned on back face cooling so that I could see through the walls. So now that uh, I could see the scene, there is one really annoying thing um, that I'm going to have to do. And, that, and we'll see why if we render. Um, but all the materials right now are Fong and we need to change that to Lambert. So I'm going to go to material or I'm going to go to window and I'm going to go to the uh, rendering editor hypershade. And so we're going to see that if I open these up on the attribute editor or yeah, they're not fun. They're blend. So we need to select the blend and 
we're going to change this to Lambert. And then I like to turn the diffuse from 0.8 up to 1. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to do that for every single texture. Switch it from a blend to a Lambert and change it the diffuse up to 1. So again, if you know a better way to do this, please comment below and let me know. Um, I even checked in export to Maya for some way to make sure it was exporting Lamberts instead, but I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to switch all of these over real quick. Okay, so all the materials are switched over to Lambert and uh, they got the diffuse set to one. I'm going to close Hypershade and now I'm ready to set up the render. Okay, so now if I position the camera somewhere nice and I click on this button here, which is Open Render View, or I could just say Window, Rendering Editors, Render, render View, and click this button, which is Render the Current Frame, uh, that should render my current image so we have it rendering here um, and we're gonna it's rendering with Maya software so we're gonna want to change that over to mental ray so in the next video we're gonna be setting up the render to mental ray and getting all the render settings correct so that we can get a texture baked and move that over to unity see you guys in the next video